Now, Prithvi is bleeding profusely after the episode that happened the previous day. What will she do now? She went and she saw a big goddess, the, uh, a statue of a big goddess and she saw a small parrot. It, it was not alive, it is just a doll, a life-size parrot. It was looking very natural but not a tinge of movement. It didn't move even a little bit. So what to do now? Okay, anyway, she bowed to the goddess. She took her blessing and she went inside and she took the parrot in her hands to just examine what it was. The moment she took the parrot out from the goddess's hand, the whole place started to crumble. And the parrot, as if it was in a deep slumber, woke up and said, Hello, princess, I am here to guide you. And she was startled. She didn't know what to do. She was petrified for a moment. But this wise parrot advised her, Princess, this place is going to shatter in a bit. Let us go ahead. I will show you the way to the, goal, the beautiful stream, the medicinal stream. You will heal there. But it is a very tough path and with your single hand, you will have to be more determined. But Prithvi, who is already very tired, with a lot of bleeding happening from her hand, wounded hand, she had no other choice. She has to go there and she had to rush also. She rushed as quick as possible out of this crumbling cave. And it was a steep hill where she saw she was out. The hill was covered with pebbles and thorns. It was not, not an easy journey. She would climb up and fall down, climb up and fall down. But she never left. Then she thought, okay, I should have something to hold on. Some, something, to, something to have a grip. She had a dagger. She put the dagger in the hill, climbed up. Again, she put the dagger, climbed up. But she did it with one single hand and the two legs helped her to support her body weight. That is how she climbed. But she is totally drained. She has not an iota of energy left inside her. She is exhausted. But the only thing, the willpower, she had this determination. The willpower is the seed for her energy. And it is also coming down now. How can the whole body support this trauma? The parrot was there next to her. She said, come on princess, you will be able to make it up. Come on, it is only few yards away. Come on, let us do it together. And it is your quest, you will have to complete it. I can see it in you. These are the motivational words given by the parrot. And she felt it comforting. And she tried to get move on and the parrot said you should have something you do not have any energy you should try and eat something so it searched for something in the sachet and it got some fruits for her it it gave her it fed her and the princess was very grateful to the parrot for his companion for his words and for his help it was much needed at that time so when she finished her small fruit, she was able to get back. And there she, was, she found the stream just running. It was nice, silvery, sparkly stream. Then there was an aura which was giving nice, positive vibes. The queen dragged herself, pulled herself to that place. The moment she set her legs on the banks, all the pebbles became very soft like river sand and there was lush greenery everywhere. She couldn't understand whether it was her imagination or is it a mirage. But she was, as the moment she puts her hand, legs on the grass, 
she could feel the cool breeze on her face it was a beautiful experience but alas when she was near the stream she almost fainted she draw she was she was dropped on the stream and few moments later she woke up she didn't know how many how many hours she passed out there but when she woke up she saw to her surprise she was completely healed there is no trace of any uh, uh, blood stain she had her hands back there is no uh, any strain in her body she is fully rejuvenated and the magic of the water it is really a magic the water so she filled it in her bottles she had bought few bottles in her sachet so she filled it two three bottles she took and she filled it and kept it inside her sachet and then she moved forward <coughs> now she saw a forest of trees many trees she didn't know which is the tree that is she is searching for she asked the parrot which is the tree the parrot said all the titters is not gold and all that is shiny is not your destiny so choose it by yourself it is your quest so she learned this lesson from him from the parrot and she saw an old tree which is not having even a single branch sorry even a single leaf on it not a flower not a not a fruit but somehow she felt this is the tree the magical tree which she is searching for then she went to the tree bowed to the tree and asked how do i take you this huge how do i take you to my kingdom and the parrot said now that you have identified you can just break a twig dip it in the water and put it in your place palace it will sprout do not worry she broke a twig put it in her bag and she heard a big noise she was startled what now i have completed all the three but the demon she is still there she could not see but her hearing capacity is wonderful very sharp ears for the demon so the demon came attacking her the moment she came attacking her this prithvi she did not lose time she didn't want to hurt the demon she wanted to be on good terms with her because she obviously knows the demon is very powerful and it is better to stay away from the powerful people do not invite enmity from powerful people she has learned it she is very intelligent girl she does not believe her in her courage unnecessarily like this in vanity so she just dodged herself and she saw she introspected this demon the demon is covered with lots of wounds so she said okay then she took her sachet she sprinkled the water on the demon and she made the moment the water is sprinkled on her the demon was not ferocious she was contained she was calm then slowly prithvi went near her and gave a sip of water to her now the demon became a beautiful princess the princess was in a curse and she became the demon she was very pompous and she was very arrogant because she was the most beautiful princess of that whole city and her arrogance has brought destruction to her own kingdom and she became the demon 
now that she is healed she is thanked profusely to prithvi and she guided her to the princes who ever have become stones now prithvi sprinkled the water on all the stones and to her amusement all of them became young princes and princesses of every kingdom many kingdoms she got back her brothers too and all of the princes princesses were very thankful to prithvi that they were saved by her and lent her their support to become the samratini to become the samratini so prithvi not only became the queen of her kingdom but she annexed many kingdoms not through power not through valor but sheer friendship this is the story of enchanted kingdom i hope you guys like it please like share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment box i am leaving the description of the previous stories in the description box link of the previous stories in the description box your comments are the motivating factor to me thank you stay tuned bye